30. Where have you been? Oh, everywhere. This certainly has been a busy morning. Don't give me that. <laughs> now is the moment you came to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are you going? I would like you to take some dictation. Yes, sir, I'm ready. I have to get a note out with these contracts that I have to get out this morning. Yes, sir. Now then, this note goes to Mr. John Wayne. John Wayne, duh. <laughs> oh. uh, Mrs. Uh, Carmichael, yes, yes. Mr. Wayne is a client, and when I dictate correspondence to him, I wish you would refrain from going, duh. He's my all-time favorite. Nevertheless, I wish you wouldn't fall apart every time I mention his name. I just wish he was here to pick up the pieces. I am not interested in whom you would like to be picked up by. <laughs> now, Mrs. Carmichael, let's get busy, please. Will you sit down? You can't take dictation standing up, I yes, say. Yes, All right. Sir. Now then, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Dear Mr. Wayne. Dear Mr. Wayne. Enclosed herewith is the movie script you sent us, along with the final contract regarding our financing of your current production, the one about the war wagon. The war wagon? Uh, yes. What's yes. a war wagon? Well, it's a large armored wagon, and in this picture, it's transporting gold across dangerous, hostile territory. Oh, are there Indians in it? Yes. Who uh, else now, is in the picture uh, I, with I don't know. Let's get on with the uh, dictation, please. I haven't finished the note. He always uh, gets the girl, doesn't he? Uh, yes. That's good. The girl's usually Maureen O'Hara, you notice? Uh, I'd I, like to be I, I, yeah, I just, just take that. Yes, I have. Uh, now, let me see where we're at. Oh, uh, yes. We are very pleased to participate in a venture that has already made your company so prosperous. Prosperous? Yes, prosperous. Couldn't we just say rich? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, if you don't know how to spell prosperous, you can look it up in the dictionary. Well, you have to know how to spell it before you can look it up. <laughs> Besides, I think Mr. Wayne would say rich. I don't think he'd say prosperous. Oh? Well, now, maybe Mr. Wayne would say rich. All right, put down rich, then sign it. Uh, yours, truly, etc., etc. Yes, sir. Mr. Mooney, hmm? in, in, instead of signing the letter, yours truly, I think uh, Mr. Wayne would like it better if you said something like, until our trails cross again, may your grazing be the greenest and your water hole never run dry. <laughs> I remain yours till the feathers of the red man turn gray. And sign it your bronco bustin' buckaroo Tex Mooney. <laughs> And how would I send it? Pony Express? Well, I just thought... Never you... mind, Mrs. Carmichael. Just sign it yours truly and sign Theodore J. Mooney. All right. Oh, here. These are the contracts that go with the note. I want you to take them to the studio immediately. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see that Mr. Wayne gets them personally. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> just take them to the entrance and leave them with the receptionist. But, Mr. Mooney, it wouldn't be any trouble at all. Uh, my girlfriend, Mary Jane, works at that studio, and I could have lunch with her. And no, then... Mrs. Carmichael. Just leave them with the receptionist, and don't bother Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Oh, Mary Jane, I just saw some Indians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gee, look at all these wonderful costumes. Oh, it must be fun working in a studio with all kinds of glamorous stars around all the time. Yeah, it is fun. Hi, Bill. Hi, Ed. Hi, Mary Jane. Oh, hi, Ed. Ed, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Lucy Carmichael. Oh, this is Ed Nelson. Doesn't that hurt? Not me. But it sure bothers my wife when we're dancing. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Hi, Mary Jane. Oh, hi. Oh, that was Burt Lancaster, wasn't it? Oh, no, Lucy, that's Mr. Simon. He's the director. Oh, sure looked like Burt Lancaster. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi. 
Oh, I recognize him. That's Richard Chamberlain. Lucy, that's a studio doctor. Oh, really? Who's that, the janitor? That was Milton Burrow. Milton Burrow? Oh, for heaven's sake, wait till I tell the girls I nearly saw Milton Burrow. Was it really Milton yes, Burrow? Well, listen, honey, oh. Lucy, yeah. we have to order. You're going to be late getting back to work now. Oh, well, I don't care if I am late getting back to work. I'm still so mad at Mr. Mooney for insisting that I leave those contracts with the receptionist. You think a man would understand how much a woman would like to meet John Wayne personally? Yes, you certainly would. You know John Wayne? Not personally. Well, then I think I'll introduce you. Do you know him? No, but I will when I give him these contracts. Lucy, I thought you gave those to the receptionist. Not on your life. You think I was going to give up a chance like this? I'm going to give these to Mr. Wayne personally. Now, do you think he'll be in here for lunch? Well, he usually is, but sometimes he has lunch in his dressing room. Oh, really? Hi, Mary Jane. Oh, hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Yeah? Do you know where Mr. Wayne is? No, I don't. Anything I can do? Uh, well, my friend's looking for him. Oh? Uh, yes, I work in the bank, and I have some very important contracts for uh, Mr. Wayne. Oh, yes, we've been expecting those. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. <laughs> The receptionist? Oh, no. Hi, honey. Hello. I thought you didn't know him. I don't. Well, he said hello to you. Well, he says hello to everybody. He called you honey. He doesn't know my name. <laughs> Gee, that's even better than a name. <laughs> oh, if he ever called me honey, wow. <laughs> Very friendly. Is he? Oh, he's so nice. Mary Jane, yes. you want it on the phone? Oh, okay. I'll... Here's your usual, Mr. Wayne. Thank you. Oh, bring me some ketchup. Right. There you are, sir. Thank you. Anything else I can get for you, sir? No, I'm fine. Howdy. Hi. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Oh, well, uh... uh I'm John Wayne. <laughs> oh, oh, I know you are. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's nice meeting you, Mr. Wayne. I, uh, I work at the bank, and I brought some contracts over here for you today. Well, thank you. I, I thought about bringing them to you in person, but I realized that you're a very busy man, and I didn't want to bother you. Oh, I'm never that busy. Yeah, well, whether you're busy or not, I, I just thought there's no reason for people to bother you, and that's why I left the contracts outside with the receptionist, so I wouldn't bother you. Well, that's very considerate. <laughs> it must be very bothersome, people <laughs> bothering you all the time, like when they ask you for your autograph and everything. Well, I never considered that a bother. Oh, can I have your autograph? <laughs> well, of course. Thank you. Uh, uh, did you bring a piece of paper? No. Uh, oh, uh, I, I didn't want to bother you, but I... Uh, oh, could you... Uh, could you maybe put it on the back of this? Well, this is a page out of my script. Oh, I would love to have a page out of your script. Well, it's... Uh... I would love that. <clears throat> would you care for something? Uh, well, would you like something? Well, I got uh, just a cup of coffee if it's no bother. Oh. <laughs> now, now then, just say uh, to my dear friend, Lucy Carmichael. <laughs> to my dear friend... Lucy? Carmichael. C-A-R-M-I-C-H-A-E-L. I always spell it for people because sometimes they spell it E-A-L, and we have the Scotch clan spelling A-E-L. Uh -huh. My maiden name used to be McGillicuddy. That's how Scotch I am. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Who I enjoyed having lunch with in person. <laughs> I mean you in person, not me. <laughs> Who I enjoyed having lunch with in person. 
uh, together today alone. <laughs> together dash today dash alone. Together today alone. Alone. Yes. Now, if you just put the date down there in the corner. The date? Yeah. When I get back to the bank, I'm going to have it notarized. <laughs> Notarized. Yeah, well, they'll never believe this back home. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'll cherish this. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, Mr. Wayne, I watch all of your old pictures on television. Do you? And even though I know you started out quite a long time ago, you still look so handsome and so young. Well, thank you. I'd like to have that notarized. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Most actors don't look anything like they do in their old pictures on television. You know what I think ages them? What? Staying up all night watching their old movies on television. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You know, I think I've seen every picture you ever made. Really? Mm-hmm. Some of them eight or ten times. Well, thank you. That's oh, very nice. Oh, you know you were such a sensational army general in a picture called Cast a Giant Shadow. <laughs> an army general. And what a dashing naval officer you were in, in harm's way. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. Did you enjoy making that? Very much. Did yes. John Ford direct it? No, he didn't direct it. He directs most of your pictures, doesn't he? Uh, yes, he does. Yeah. And most of the time you have Maureen O'Hara in your pictures, That's don't you? That's right, yeah. She has beautiful red hair. Yeah. <laughs> you know something? You were the greatest Marine of all time in the sands of Iwo Jima. Just the greatest. Well, thank you. Gee, you've been in every branch of the service. No wonder we won the war. Well, I never, <laughs> I never thought of it that way. <laughs> yeah, you've been in the service so long, I think Bob Hope should play a Christmas show just for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little trouble with that. Here, let me help. No, don't help, oh, please. Oh, I'm terribly well, Miss sorry. Well, Miss Carmichael, I think oh. that I'd better get back to the dressing room and study my lines. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wayne. Oh, uh, here, you haven't even touched your Well, I'll take it with... with me. Oh, okay. Oh, and Mr. Wayne, here. You might want that where Thank it belongs. <laughs> Visitors on the set, honey. Yeah. But I'll talk to the assistant director. Oh, Brian. Oh, hello, Mary Jane. Hi. Listen, Brian, this is my friend Lucy Carmichael. How do you do? And she wants to see John Wayne shoot. Well, we don't usually allow visitors on the set. Well, I told her that. Uh, I'm a personal friend of Mr. Wayne's. Uh, as a matter of fact, I uh, just had lunch with him. Oh, well, in that case, I guess it will be all right. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And I'll see you later. Right. Have fun. Bye -bye. Okay, places, everyone, getting ready to roll, huh? John, you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> uh, lady, uh, lady, you, uh, would you mind stepping over there? Oh, you're right in front of my camera. Oh, oh is that the cat? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. All right, now. All right, let's get ready. get out of here. This place is loaded with Paris's men. The way I look at it, this place is loaded with two of our men. But, Ta, there's ten of Paris's men here, and there's only two of us. Couldn't we pick a time when the odds are more even? Okay, let's wait around until six or more Pierce's men come in. Ha <laughs> ha! You tell them, that's right. <laughs> Someone the bank sent over not to bother me. Is <laughs> your friend of yours? Seems that way. <laughs> but I want absolute quiet on the set. Quiet? Absolute quiet. <laughs> ah! Oh, my, that is a hot light. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, Mike, if you have a lot of those hot lights around yeah, you like that. Yes, I... yes, ladies. Oh, I yes, didn't you know see, we have them there. all over the set. If you yeah. look right around, we I have them all. You have to be careful where you yes, stand, I madam. Will. Yes, thank you. Now, look, and I must ask you, please, don't react that way off camera. Ooh, we have to have I, absolute... got, I got something to tell you. That's the way they're going to react to Mr. Wayne all over the country in every theater <laughs> that, 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 that he plays. Yes, so, I hope so. You, but... better, you better just get used to it. When they hear a line like that, they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but that's oh. in the theater, ma'am. Here yeah. on the set, oh, we can't well, have that. You well, see, all these actors have to be able to concentrate when oh, Mr. Wayne well, comes in. Oh, well, let them get used to it, because if they're in a Wayne picture, they're in the best, I and that's yes, the way oh, it is. Yes, yeah. yes, you're right. You're right, and that's what we want. But you'll okay, help us okay, a great okay, deal if you'll fine. just take it easy, right? Take it easy, just don't get I too react upset. the way I feel. Watch out for those hot lights. John, Burt Lancaster's shooting on the next stage. Couldn't you send her over there? Why? Bert's never done anything to me. <laughs> well, all right, if you want to let her stay around. Uh... All right, places, everybody. We'll pick it up for Mr. Wayne's last line. Roll them. Scene 54, take one. <laughs> Action! Okay, let's wait around until six more of uh, Pierce's men show up. Howdy, Pierce. Howdy, Tall. Been a long time. Yeah. Been a long time. <laughs> you mouth off like that again, and you'll be a dead man. anything. I didn't move. John, I think you skipped some dialogue. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. What's that, blood? No, ketchup. <laughs> well, no wonder I missed it. There's a page missing. Oh, a page missing. Oh, oh maybe that's my fault. Perhaps this is a page that she gave me out of your script. Is that the one? That's the one. <laughs> well, uh, uh, let's see now. You're supposed to say, uh, here you and your boy's been looking for. You said that, didn't you? And he says, that's right, Tar. And you say, well, now you can stop looking and start talking. And he says, reckon I ain't fixing to be, to be seen talking to no jailbird. And then you say, you mouth off like that again, you'll be a dead man. Oh, I got it. I'll okay. remember it now. Listen, Mr. Wayne. I, uh, I think it would be better if you said, you mouth off like that again and you'll be pushing up Daisy. Pushing up Daisy. Now, yes. please, miss, we've got... Wait a minute, Joe. I like pushing up Daisy's better. All right, pushing up Daisy's. <laughs> you want to rehearse it once? Yeah, let's rehearse it. No, let's roll it. I know the dial. Okay, roll it. Go ahead, roll it. He knows it. Go on, roll it. Hey. John, you sure you don't want to clear this set? I hate to blow this scene. Well, I'd rather blow a scene than lose a fan. <laughs> That's why he's been up there on top so long. Thank you, man. All right. That's the kind of a man he is. Yeah. I mean, all of his fans know him. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Everybody sure. knows that about yes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Wayne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, places, roll them. Team 55, take one. Take Action! Take three. Action! Here you and the boys have been looking for me, Pierce. That's right, Tall. Well, now you can stop looking and start talking. Well, I reckon I ain't fixing the beat scene talking to no jailbird. You mouth off like that again, and you'll be pushing up Dave. What? <laughs> Forgetting it's new, it's brand new. I just gave it to you. And then you say, You mouth off like that again, you'll be a dead man. That's what it was. You're supposed to say you'll be pushing up Daisy. I was just taking a long pause for effect. Oh, I thought he forgot his lie. <laughs> okay, roll him. Go ahead. You 
you mouth off like that again and you'll be pushing up daisies. If you're looking for trouble, Tall, I got plenty of boys that can give it to you. Well, I'll let you make the first move. But you better remember, it may be your last. Oh, now, Tall, me and the boys didn't mean nothing personal. Take him, boys! Yeah! shoot a picture, but you make sure that he doesn't get hurt. Good heavens, I've never seen such brutality. They were rough. Lady, nobody here is going to hurt me. These are all my friends. Why, actually, this fella and I started together 20 years ago. Yeah, way over 20. Never mind. <laughs> we're friends we are. Now, just try and control yourself. Hey, make up. They certainly didn't look very friendly to me. I, I, you know, I've seen, as I told you, Mr. Wayne, I've seen practically every picture you ever made. Here, let me take that. And I tell you, I noticed in every picture that they sort of gang up on you. You're always outnumbered. You always have a tough time of it, and I don't think it's right. I just don't think it's fair. Thank you. Thank you. We all thank you, lady, but we're trying to shoot a fight scene, not a beauty contest. Well, then, you just be very careful of him. Remember, he's a star. <laughs> Now, fellas, be real careful of me. Remember, I'm a star. <laughs> yeah, all right, star. Let's get back to work. Huh? Now, look, John, this time I want you to take one of these blood capsules, put it in your mouth, bite yeah. down on it during the fight so we get a good shot of the blood, huh? Okay. I just had no idea that they were so rough. He could really get hurt. Well, I've seen Mr. Wayne get hurt plenty of times. You have? Sure, sometimes those stuntmen are so anxious to make things look good that they get carried away. I'll say they do, and I think this is one of the times they got carried away. All right, folks, a very important scene. I want it to go well, so quiet! 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 <laughs> okay, quiet. All right, we'll overlap the action where Chuck gets the knife from Helen, right? You ready? Make it good, gang. Roll them! Scene 57, take one. Action! Oh! Mr. Wayne's best fan. I didn't mean to hurt him. I didn't mean to do him any harm. 